Oh, we found one. Hold on. Hold on. We found one. Give me a second. Hey Zeus, that might be a best of one just because I, I have I have video. I have an option to have multiple different matches in one game. Um If it's not Focus Ash Victini, I actually really like the Zacian and Victini lead here. Zacian Victini is very, very good. Um Gonna wanna bring Groudon for sure, and probably Grimmsnarl, but Eveltal is also kind of calling my name here. I'm gonna say I'm probably best bringing Grimmsnarl. Eh, maybe Eveltal. Let's go Eveltal. Now, it's it's a little risky. It's it's a little risky, but I'll, I'll do it anyways. Because we can bring three Restricteds now. Do you think moves like Soak will counter the Terramon strats? One would assume. Yeah, I would assume it still works. But to be honest, I don't. It doesn't seem like the the Terra thing is gonna be that strong that it necessitates soaking a Pokemon. I don't know. It it doesn't seem like a huge power up. It seems like, you know how there are upgrades in games. It's an upgrade if you decide to stick with your same typing, but it seems to be a side grade for everything else. If you change typings, it's more of a side grade. You move. You you change what you do. Diancy and Victini, okay. Um, what's Diancy's HP stat? 50? Okay. I hope you guys are ready to see the funniest turn one of your life. There's no way you trick room with your Diancy. Oh, apparently I didn't need to do that. I thought they were also Scarf uh, V-Create or something. I could have actually just attacked the Diancy. They're going to Trick Room, aren't they? <laughs> I did noops. I did noops there. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, options for beating this are still pretty high. Yeah. Um, I don't hate this. Mel Metal the Celebratory. Okay, I actually really like this now. The more I see this this going on, I like this quite a bit. Mel Metal does pretty bad in the Groudon, and also his modeling game looks phenomenal. Just gonna put that out there. I'm gonna get my Eveltal in here. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and go for a Max Steel Spike onto Diancy. Okay. Oh, dude, if they're G-Max Melmetal... Oh, wait, no, they're definitely G-Max Melmetal because that's the event one. Okay, so they can't boost their defenses, which is actually really bad. Guys, G-Max Melmetal is not, not a good Pokemon, in my opinion. You want to use the regular one, but that's thumbnail. That's thumbnail right there. All right. Uh, like I said, Groudon can kind of wall this out. So far, almost every Series 13 uh, team has an Eveltal. You see, this is what I mean. A lot of people, when they play uh, Pokemon, they think, wow, I really hate that uh, the, the metagame is always the same. But no. You see, we're able to use Eveltal. And now he's the best Pokemon in the format. <laughs> Which is really funny. Because Eveltal is usually pretty mid. He's never been, like, the best Pokemon, but there's almost no reason not to run Eveltal, given the amount of utility it brings to your team. My Metal was given out in the Go event? No, Mel Metal was given out uh, in Pokemon Home. You got a G-Max Mel Metal, like, two years ago, I think. Calyrex the Rank Master, okay. Calyrex can't Dynamax, because the... Mel Metal is Dynamaxed, so what I'm going to do here, because also he is not able to boost his defenses, um, is I am going to accept the fact that I am definitely about to activate a weakness policy and just roll with it to KO you. I'm just going to roll with it.
It's gonna do a lot. Yep, that is within range of Steel Spike. There is no policy. I think I just win. Especially since I got that defense boost, we're in a really good spot. I did a lot, though. I did a lot. Ooh, life orb, okay. Glacial Lance. Gonna KO you, Veltal. Not gonna KO Groudon. Should be in range of the Steel Spike. Chilling May boost. My guess that what will happen with Shedinja is that it won't be able to use the mechanic or it won't be allowed in game. I'll be honest, I don't think Shedinja is all that good with the mechanic. Even if you're able to do the air balloon electric type thing, a single, like a single grain of sand or hail just annihilates it. It has no defensive counterplay for that because you have to give up the goggles. It's not worth it. It's just straight up not good. I think that there are going to be some situations where it can be used like that, like in restricted formats, because Kyogre exists. Um, but I don't think it's as good as people are putting out, to, uh, putting it out to be. That's just like an early metagame idea that we have. All right. Um, it's actually in my best interest to Steel Spike here to make sure my Zacian is able to go for a move next turn. And then I can Sacred Sword and spam my uh, Max Quakes. But yeah, no. Um, it's very bad to run this this version of Melmetal. Specifically because it just like, it can't boost defenses. It's not great. Yeah, Mel Melmetal's move just torments you. So you can't use the same move twice in a row. Which is also why I went for Steel Spike, because I'm not certain if I'll be able to Presbus Blades otherwise. Alright, that should be in range of P-Blades plus uh, Sacred Sword. And he should be able to one-shot my Zacian. My horsepower shouldn't KO. Pretty strong, though. It would have been close without the defense. Nice. All right, cool. Good game to that Series 13 player. Uh, hey, Zeus in the chat, go ahead and just put the friend, uh, not the friend code, put the code that you want to use for the battle in the chat and I'll, I'll challenge That's you. We'll take it, sure. Sure, first try. <laughs> first try, we got him. Um, there's no fake. This is an in game team. This is an in game team. Uh, but do you guys want to see me land a sleep powder? <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna land a sleep powder turn one. That is my game plan. Let's bring the grout on and the Zacian. Landing right now, and I just saw an Evelto with Snarl and Throat Spray. Evil, that's a bad set, but it is evil. There are good sets that are evil, and then there are bad sets that are evil. Does Crystallization confirm use no items, or does it take an item? It looks like it doesn't take an item from the way they're describing it, which I'm kind of okay with. I'd prefer it to take an item, but I'm also pretty okay with this. Let's go full screen. Also, come on. Where's my layout? Oh. Shout out to the Ancient Power Counter. All right. Also, guys, I have a question. I put on a lot of weight the past couple of years due to the pandemic shutting everything down and the gyms not being open. Um, I've been running every day on my new treadmill and I have lost a few pounds. Is it noticeable? Just kidding. But yes, I, I have. But I just want to know if I'm looking a little bit thinner. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um... I am more scared of this Gyarados than I am of this, uh, actually, no, I can literally just do my thing, can't I? Let's just Sleep Powder.
Your dream of dragon types. Yo, Dunsparce gets a dragon type. I just realized that. Actually, does Dunsparce get any better with new typings? Hold on, I'm gonna pull up Showdown on my other screen real quick and see if Dunsparce actually does get a little bit better with this. Um, does it get Iron Head? That's the question. Or it could become a Rock type. Dynamax your Gyarados and go to sleep. That is my advice. All right. Uh, what moves do you get? What type do you want to be? Actually, Dunsparce could be a halfway decent curse Pokemon if it becomes Steel type because it gains like good resistances. Flygon can finally get bug type. Big, big and true. Big and true. Giga Impact, okay. That'd be really cool if that was into the Groudon. Alright, it's into the Venusaur. Not a big deal. Didn't actually do that much. Um, let's go ahead and... That thing's gonna recharge, so I'm just gonna Stone Edge and Max Fine Lash here. I always feel bad. I always feel bad when I'm, like, trying to get battles for the next uh format and i face people who are clearly not playing the next format and they're just trying to get casual battles and then they run into like g max venusaur <laughs> opinion on slacking wheezing combo objectively better than slacking regigigas even though you have lower special defense you are able to switch out the wheezing once in a while and just use your turn before truant activates objectively better i used it in uh bdsp and it was pretty fun All right, that KO, that has no Dynamax candies. Would Gyarados be a good coverage Pokemon uh, with a vest? Listen, I'll put it this way. In series two and one, and possibly all the way up until four, there was a running gag that Gyarados is our favorite grass type because it had Power Whip and it was the best Gastrodon check at the time. Now that sentence is just objectively true. Now that sentence has just become objectively true. Also, I'm going to switch in my Victini because I haven't gotten to click V create and that's really bugging me. What if it becomes solo water? Uh, you know, Dynamax has conditioned me so much to say, but you want to max Airstream, but you can't. Uh, solo water is better than water flying for Gyarados, yes. You do lose that uh, Earthquake weakness, or Earthquake immunity, so it kind of depends on, on the metagame in that case, but yeah. You guys want to see the best part about Scarf Victini in this format? You guys want to see the best part? Because I'm not going to click V-Create. I'm, I'm only going to click V-Create if it gets me a thumbnail out of this, which I really want to get a couple of battles that get me a thumbnail. Zamazenta? What's Zamazenta's HP stat? Show me Zamazenta's HP stat, Magical Showdown. It's 92. Zamazenta's HP stat is 92. Behold, I care not for your defenses, sir. Be gone. I sentence you to Pokeball. Hold on. I'm gonna... Listen, I... <laughs> Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. All right. And now it's Victini's turn in a second. Zamazenta, for your crimes against being a good Pokemon, I sentence you to Pokeball. Listen, Victini's got base 100 HP. It can, it can, it can literally do that to almost every Pokemon. What are your thoughts on the new Wooper form? Very Whoop. Um, uh, Poison Ground. I don't know if we had that before. Actually, kind of depends. Uh, let me think. Poison Ground is that a thing? Let me check. I wanted to say Gliscor, but I know that's nothing. Needle King. That's what it was. If it's a defensive Nidoking, King, I could see it being pretty okay. Because Nido Queen, as bulky as it is, is actually pretty decent for that reason. It really depends on the stats. I have no idea how good it's going to be. Design-wise, it's a 10 out of 10, obviously. But beyond that, I have no clue. I think it's funny how Marcos is so in favor of Terrastalizing when it has a lot of the same issues as Dynamax. All right. I want you to name the issues that it has in common with Dynamax.
All right. Ooh, okay, Zero Aura. Zero Aura Melmetal. Um, this is a little bit of a frustrating combination to deal with. However, we do have options. We do have options. We do. 100% have options. Groudon, Victini, Venusaur. Also GLHF. I didn't say that yet. Good luck. Have fun. Don't screen peek. <laughs> okay. All right, let me go full screen. Oh, I am full screen. Yay! <laughs> oh, sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forget to go full screen, so I'm glad I did not. Zara Aura and Rockstar. Okay. I quite like this lead. I think this lead is very cool. I think this lead is actually pretty hard to beat, if we're being real. If we're being honest, if we're being true gamers, this is a pretty hard lead to beat. Hey, Shad, thank you so much for the raid. The question is, you had an Eveltal. It's been very hard not to find an Eveltal team, so I can only assume that you're going to bring it in somewhere. So I'm going to do this. I refuse... I refuse to Dynamax. Yeah, there's the Evelto. I refuse to Dynamax there when I can just get free one-sixth of your health. Hopefully I uh, called the fake out right. One would assume you would probably fake out the, the Venusaur here. Hopefully I don't miss. That could be really bad. Fake out, cool, called it right. Not a nice, nice, nice. Um, this won't one shot, but if I connect my oh, ah, that might do it after the 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 thing. So you know, might not even matter if I miss. Oh, it's shook a berry. That's interesting. I mean, it probably has the bulk to be able to live it. You know, with the shook a berry, obviously. All right, we got options here, and they're not terrible options, if I'm being honest. Um, Eveltal is a little bit annoying. I really want to avoid a weakness policy if that's the set. You can never really tell. You can never really tell. At least not initially. You know, you can never tell. I hate Melmetal. I don't like Melmetal. I think Melmetal is a bad Pokemon. I actually really love Melmetal. I love Melmetal so much, but I'm going to pretend like I don't for a sec. Let's do this. Withdrawing the Mel Metal. This is still going to hurt the Toxicity way too much. And Stone Edge should still hurt very, very bad. Dynamax going onto the Velto also isn't the worst thing for me. Because I am going to land a Stone Edge here, one would assume, as long as I don't get unlucky. Kind of wish my Victini was on the field. <laughs> Just to ensure it, you know? Just to be certain. Okay, that will KO after the Vine Lash. Can I connect a Stone Edge, though? Because that Airstream is going to do a lot. I might even just lose my Venusaur here, depending on the set. Looks like that's Life Orb. Is it Life Orb? Let's see. No, no life orb. Okay, might be weakness policy, might lose from this. We'll find out soon. No, it's life orb. Okay, we're good. Connect the stone edge. Thank you. Alright, that's in range of, um, a lot. However, there is one correct answer here. There is one correct answer on how to deal with this Eveltal, and the, the, the media doesn't want you to know about it. Check out this one simple answer for beating Eveltal. I might not outspeed it, though. That's the issue. <laughs> I might not outspeed it. And also, I kind of want to not hit it yet. Um, I kind of want to get a thumbnail. So maybe I'll do something else. 
I kind of want to get a thumbnail. I'll be honest, guys. I really want this thumbnail. Let's go for it. Because the V-Create won't show the animation without it. I have to attack the Melmetal or the V-Create won't show the animation. That's how it works. That's how Mafia works. Alright, it is faster. However, Victini has a lot of bulk. We're good. We're in this. There's no way this Melmetal outspeeds me. I'm Choice Scarf. Also, it's 34 base speed. Check it, guys. Look at this phenomenal thumbnail material. How could you not click on that? You know, except for the low battery thing on the top right. That's going to be a little annoying. What drive would be best on Genesite with the new gimmick? I mean, probably fire. I think fire? I don't know. But yeah. Anyways, good game to Jesus. It's a pretty cool team. Pretty cool team. I was actually really scared to be a Velto. I'm glad I got around it. But yeah.